Hello, and welcome to Ride Along Real Estate. This is episode five. That's a lot of We're trucking, huh? That's a lot of fun. That's consistent. Yeah, and I really wore my best dressed outfit today. You I look am like a, my driver. I am. I'm a Santa Cruz college student driving you around. Actually, this is Mitchell Scalling. He is yeah. your mortgage loan consultant. Yeah. And I am Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert. Awesome. And today we are going to talk about the beloved topic of property taxes, mm -hmm. because who doesn't love to pay taxes? Dun, dun, dun. And what do they say? The only two yeah. things that are non-avoidable in life are oh, death yeah. and taxes. taxes. Sadly. Sadly. But so. we have some good strategies to help. I don't know what the word is. Make them feel a little bit better. I, I think you get it like offsets the cost. Yeah. So I didn't that want you to can neglect them. That's no, the offsets yeah. the cost yeah. so that it's a little bit more palatable when you're actually looking at your totally. net. Exactly. Right? Savings. Um, but one thing that I found that's very helpful to remind me of when taxes are due is a saying, no darn fooling around, which I learned from my very first oh, broker, it. beloved oh. Greg Smith. Greg Smith, shout yeah. out to you. I well, like he acronym. Passed away, oh, but Greg. Yeah. yeah. He was an amazing yeah. broker. I learned so much from him. And it's first installment is due November, late after December 10th. Second installment is due February, late after April 10th. So you can see why we're coming out with this video yeah. now, because we are reminding you that if you have not yet paid your property taxes, you should probably yeah. get that you taken should, care of. You should do that. So yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So okay. when you're pre-approving somebody, yes. I know that property taxes mm -hmm. goes into the equation of a pre-approval. Totally. So what tax base do you usually use to analyze somebody's expenses? Or so debt income ratio? I generally will go at 1.25%, mm -hmm. which I know can be a little bit higher than the norm. I believe it's about 1%. Just well, the base is 1%. Base, excuse me. Yes. The base, base is 1%, is but 1%. there's always... Um, special special assessments assessment, that are voted exactly. in and out depending yeah. on what you vote for. So I like exactly. using one and a quarter percent. I as think well, it's just, just a more conservative approach. Yes. You know, let's say you know you qualify someone for one percent, they have a high debt to income, and then we find out there is a special assessment, yeah. they could potentially not qualify for that home anymore. Yeah. So I think it's always smart to to qualify people in that manner. I think right? so. I agree. I, yeah. I like that. that's the that that is the formula that I use as well. Totally, totally. And yeah, no, it's a big part of the qualification, the PITI, I like to call it, Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. That's a good acronym. And some clients, I won't bore you too much with this stuff, will choose to go with the escrow route of kind of preloading accounts where money's pulled each month for all of that. An impound account. An impound, exactly. Yeah. Escrow, impound. There's so many words in this yeah. industry that all mean the same thing. Yeah. There's all yeah, that's a nice um, that's a nice solution if you're yeah. not somebody that likes to budget. You can have your property taxes, your homeowner's insurance yep. um, collected up front every month, and they will hold it in an impound account, and then the manager of that impound account will actually pay them for you, and so you don't have to think about it. Exactly. And that's one way. And then the other way is, you know, you just write it. the check on your own exactly. or you go online and do it like yeah. this. Do 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 it do. Yeah. Do 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 do. Okay. Um, let's talk about the benefits of property yeah. taxes. Cause I know besides like actually like schools and streets and police force and yeah. firefighters and all the things Some that actually town, take yeah. care of our community, those yeah. are clear benefits, but what, what yeah. are some actual financial yeah. benefits that we can talk about from um, property taxes. Yeah. So you are able to write up up to $10,000 a year in property tax, which a lot of times I did this just actually earlier today. This client was able to save about $1,200 a month. That's awesome. That's which, a really big saving. In a way you can kind of, I mean, obviously you don't get that each month, but right. at the end of the year, that's your savings. Right. So in a way you could deduct that from your monthly mortgage, Yeah. Um. you know, just help with sticker shock and just help offset the cost of being able to, you know, get into the market, especially if you're a first time buyer. I love that. A lot of them don't know about that benefit. So yeah. educating them on that and then having a tax professional that can really, Absolutely. you know, obviously I'm the mortgage side, you're the real estate side, um, having someone that can deep dive into that to make sure they're taking full advantage. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 
And then let's talk a little bit about yeah. Proposition 19, which yeah. I know that if you are, if you've been living in your home for many, many years and your property tax base is based on your original purchase price, which in some instances, believe it or not, could be yeah. as low as like $70,000. So Proposition 19 now allows anybody that's 55 and older anywhere in California to transfer their tax base three times. So it, the, the purpose is, I mean, the purpose is whatever you want it to be, but the yes. motivation, I guess, if you want to be closer to family or you've outgrown a community and you want to go be somewhere else, it is only within California. It actually used to be only within specific counties and That's they have opened I, it yeah. up to be That's all of fantastic. California. So for example, if my parents are living in Ukiah and all of, and their property taxes based on their purchase price of their home, which I believe was like $175,000 when they bought it when I was in middle school, yeah. um, they could actually- It was only like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> For you. <laughs> right. Don't Sorry. crash. <laughs> Whoa. They yeah. could transfer their tax yeah. base uh, that was based on $175,000 purchase That's price so cool. from Ukiah to Santa Cruz and move down here. Um, and be closer to me. Totally. And that's just another benefit allowing homeowners to change, you yeah. know, around and feel a little bit more comfortable about selling their home. Exactly. And not taking on a full new tax rate. Right. I think of my parents too on the Upper West Side. I yeah. think they bought the house for like 250000 yeah. in 1995. I was one. I was 15. Well, not that <laughs> Well, that's good to know. That's yeah, so if they ever wanted to downsize exactly. and kick their kids out of their totally. house, yep. then they could transfer the tax. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll talk to them about that. <laughs> I love Christy, it. I hope you're yeah. listening. Yeah, chime in. Um, and then what else? So let's see what else. Other benefits of it. So we talked about. I mean, obviously, savings monthly, you know, what you can do with that extra money, you mm -hmm. can save, you know, move that money into investments, mm -hmm. potentially another property, mm -hmm. um, supporting local communities. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that tax money, I think you tapped on that, mm -hmm. you know, supports that part of it. So when you write your check, you don't have to feel that bad. It actually goes towards something that exactly. you're utilizing, like the totally. roads, the schools, the police, all that kind of stuff. Tangible stuff that we see every day. Right. And I think the biggest thing, and I know I already touched on this a little bit, but I think it really encourages home ownership. Like when I bring this up to my first time buyers, as we're going through the consultation and kind of getting a sense of where their budget is, mm -hmm. I always find they have a sense of relief when we do touch on this. Again, I'm not a tax professional. This is example purposes, mm -hmm. but I can give them a sense of like where we're at and mm -hmm. then have them consult with their tax professional. And it just, it makes things a little bit easier for mm -hmm. them to, to swap. Yeah, it's softened, it softens exactly. the process because it, it, it is expensive to live here. 100%. Yeah. So any benefit for the buyer, you know, and sellers, obviously, you know, the better. Yeah. Because it's not getting any cheaper. Home no. prices are not dropping. They are not. The last property that I wrote an yeah. offer on had six wow. offers. Okay. And it went for 200000 above the list price. Just just a little bit over there, Shamika. <laughs> I think that's just, just more of the norm. Yeah, yeah, just so that you guys know where we're at with our market. Yeah. And no, same thing I've been seeing four, five, six offers on yeah. each property. So I know we always say this, but who you work with matters. Who you work you with have to matter. have a professional that lines you up in the, in the proper way to win. Yeah. So don't forget, if you have not yet paid your property taxes, yeah. they are late after April 10th. So make sure that don't you get those late. taken care of. If you are delinquent on your property taxes and you do not pay them and you still do not pay them and you still do not pay them, then there is actually the possibility that your home will be repossessed by the good old Santa Cruz property tax assessor's office. So make sure that you get those property taxes paid. Yep. If you have any questions on how to do that online or offline, or what your repercussions or ramifications are, if you do not pay property taxes, give us a call and we will be glad to walk you through the steps. And we'll also be happy to dive a little bit deeper into Proposition 19 and how it can potentially impact you and your decision on a move. And also how the beauty of the write-off works yes. when you are calculating your property taxes into the equation of a new home purchase. Well said, Shamika Fox. Thank you. Again, Shamika Fox, Fox Realty Group. And this is Mitchell Stelling yeah. with Revest Home Loan. Yeah. Your mortgage so loan that. consultant. Yeah, remember when you, um, what was it? Oh, I'm not going to bring up the name. Please don't. <laughs>
<laughs> if you have any questions, yeah. feel free to give us a call anytime. Ride right along, real estate, episode, episode five. five we baby. out. Cut.